You stop, breathe. I promise you everything's going to be okay. Stop stressing so much, girl. I don't even think you'd hear that. Hey, girl. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading. Now, Scorpio, I also do your weekly you versus them tarot reading between you and your person, which I'll leave a link to over here. I also just uh, uploaded your, finally uploaded your uh, urgent spirit guide messages, Scorpio, uh, your zodiac sign, so I'll leave a link to that as well over there. But when it comes to any of my uh, tarot readings, <laughs> I almost forgot what I do, uh, Scorpio, <laughs> be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just imagining some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than ever possibly could, Scorpio, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Now, if you find some cards that resonate with you, Scorpio, I would really appreciate it for you to let me know in the comments below which ones do, how they do, because that's how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments. And then also, I'd really appreciate it for you to take the extra time to support my channel by giving me a like and subscribe if you do find some cards that resonate with you, Scorpio, because it does help out my channel a lot, and I always am super appreciative when you guys take the extra time to do that to support my channel. Um, so yeah, and finally, before I get into your reading, Scorpio, I just am here to remind you that my tarot readings in specific, I guess I'll say, but I also feel that way with any tarot reading, shouldn't be here to tell you what to do with your life. It should be here to, a tarot reading should be here to give you some perspective, something for you to consider as you go throughout your week, as you th go throughout your life, um, some food for thought. But don't rely on tarot to make a decision for you because it's your life to live, not mine, not anyone else's, right? So keep that in mind as we go throughout this reading. So with all that being said, Scorpio, let's get into your general reading. So we actually have a few cards for you, uh, for your starting energy, Scorpio, which I'm sorry, you know, y'all know when you have like a scratch that's like in the inside and the back of your throat, I'm trying to like scratch that now and it just feels weird. Maybe I'm like weird and no one knows what I'm talking about, but, um, let's just do tarot, honey. <laughs> uh, Scorpio, we'll start with your moon oracle card, uh, which is the waning moon. What is it that you need to release? Now, Scorpio... Whenever this card comes forward, uh, this is a card of where it's usually something that, like, oh, Scorpio, I think I, like, was stepping on y'all's toes for the Zodiac, I mean, the Urgent Spirit Guide messages as well, so I'm really not being on y'all's friends list this week, for sure. <laughs> but, Scorpio, whenever this waning moon, moon comes forward, it is, like, a sense of, I thought a giant uh, spider came into was <laughs> on the wall, um continuing on i'm so distracted uh when this card comes forward there is something that uh usually a person's telling themselves that's like they'll just fixate on there's something that i feel like you're fixating on scorpio it's almost like borderline obsession energy um that is almost distracting you i feel like um so we need to we'll get into that a little bit obviously we'll know a little bit more as we continue on with this reading scorpio but it does get this i do get some type of obsession you're obsessing over something that's really kind of um blot or like hazing your view or just kind of i'm mean, just distracting you really um we have the eight of swords coming in for you so this is again I feel like these eight swords is what's trapping you here. I feel like this is what's, you know, when the eight of swords comes forward, uh, Scorpio, it's usually uh, the excuses we tell ourselves of why we can't obtain certain things, why we can't do certain things, right? Um, it's usually just dealing with dealings with the matter of the mind, right? And so I do get the sense that there's something that you need to release, like, um, We'll call it, I mean, I'm just going to be blunt, right? Scorpio, we'll call it an excuse. I feel like there's some type of, type of um, excuse that you're making in terms of why you're like sit on an energy or why you're honing in and really obsessing over something. But in reality, like if you just took a step back and you're just like, wait a minute, this doesn't even matter. This isn't even relevant, right? I feel like you're just so fixated on it. And it's just like, if you just took a step back, you would realize that it's just like, you would even ask yourself, it's like, why am I caring so much about this? Um, seven of rings coming in for you, which is the card of seven of pentacles as well. This is a card of making proper investments. Kind of, I get the sense of just getting back on track is something that I'm hearing uh scorpio because it's like you were having like this obsessive energy over something that you needed to release could be a person could be just a situation um i feel like you kind of just need to 
realign your vision or just get back on track in some type of way for thinking about the long term. We have the hanged man coming in for you. Um, so this is definitely asking for you to change your perspective. Um, it is a card of action as well because the hanged man only becomes the hanged man through some type of committed energy to have a change of perspective, right? So again, you know, as I was just saying, where it's just like, you kind of just need to like, re like fix your view or fix your perspective or where it is that you're looking. Hanged man confirms that message of where I do feel like you kind of just need to, um, Set your eyes, like, just give your eyes a break. Give your mind a break from whatever it is you're hyper-focusing on. Because I feel like if you just gave a break from it, took yourself out from it, even if you still care about it, right? I feel like you just need to have, like, a fresh new eyes on it. You know, just take a take a weekend for yourself, Scorpio, before you get back into the thick of things, before you get back into this Emperor energy. Because here's the thing. Even though you've been obsessing, I, I mean, I'm just going to be presumptuous, I guess, and speak as if y'all have been obsessing over something Scorpio. Um, I'm really not trying to make Scorpio friends recently, huh? <laughs> Um, I'm a Scorpio Libra, so don't mind me. Or I'm a Libra Scorpio cusp, I guess, but y'all don't care. <laughs> the Emperor card coming in, I, I like, you're obsessing over something Scorpio, but it's not completely taking you away from, like, the everyday life, the everyday responsibilities that you have entirely. I do get this sense of where it's just like, it's not like you're distracting yourself, I guess, in the name of not wanting to deal with things. You're, I feel like you almost feel like it's necessary, a necessary evil for you to focus in on something. But I don't know. It's, mm, we'll just pull some tarot cards um, and get into the thick of it, Scorpio. But let me know how this general, like what this general, like what this message, the this spread itself is re uh, re referencing to. Um, I get the sense we'll probably get make more clarity of this later on in this reading, but I am just going to move on from it just because um, I feel like I would have to pull a lot more cards to really get a specific message, and I'm, that's not a, at that point that's not a general reading; it's something else entirely. So we'll move on from it. I feel like you get the point. Um, so Scorpio, now we're going to get into your tarot cards for, uh, your career and your social, or not your social, I mean, yes, your social, but in a different row, your career and finances, Scorpio. And then after that, we'll get into your social situations with tarot cards, and then we'll do some final closing thoughts, um, with just some basic tarot as well to wrap up your reading. So, Wow, a lot of major arcana for you, Scorpio. <laughs> Whenever I see a bunch of major arcana, I'm just like, okay, whoever is getting is going through a big transition. And the major arcana keeps coming out. My God, honey. <sighs> Scorpio, holy crap. <laughs> oh my God, I don't even know where to start with this. Wow, y'all are going through some changes, Scorpio. Holy crap. Let me just show you these cards so you stop freaking out, huh? Uh, so we'll start with the basic ones before we show the clarifiers. You have the Temperance card coming in. This is a card of patience. This is a card of rebalancing your emotions as well, uh, Scorpio. This is a card of... Um, not trying to rush things, right? I feel like there is like this sense of like when I when I hold on to this emperor card, it's almost like a desperation isn't the word for it because that's just such a this is just not the word I want to use, but it's almost just like a you just want something really badly, you want to obtain something really badly and like because of that, that's where your obsessive nature starts coming in on everything because you want something to be accomplished, you hyper focus on one thing and then maybe neglect other aspects as well but i don't know i feel like it's because when you hyper focus too much you start putting yourself out of balance and inherently it wouldn't sound like it's a bad thing to be overtly focused on like your finances and your career but when everything else starts taking effect from it or where it's just like you're so hyper focused that you don't i don't know i just get this this is just like keep an open mind to things scorpio don't hyper focus on don't ca catch yourself this week if you could start fo like spiraling too much with something catch yourself and stop it in its tracks um and then you have the lover's card coming in here as well so it's like when you have the temperance card and the world card i do i mean obviously with all these <laughs> you can see with those major arcana as well by the way but i get the sense that things are going in its natural order things things are you know 
shifting in the way that they need to. Things are happening just in the speed that they need to. And it's probably not at the speed that you would like, Scorpio. And that's why you start hyper-focusing again and just obsessing over trying to get to the end result, trying to get to the product um, or the fruits of your labor. And I feel like this is more so like your big moments to come, right? You are going to eventually be presented with something that's pretty impactful for your career, but you just need to wait it out a little bit more. Have a little bit more patience, Scorpio. Now, we get into the clarifiers, honey. This is where I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> um, the clarifier for the temperance card, honey. Star card. So starting major arcana over major arcana. So this is essentially like you need to have some patience when it comes to your wish, uh, what it is that you're trying to get to in terms of your career finances, Scorpio. It's not going to happen overnight. And I think you kind of need to have a conversation with yourself and accepting that so that way you can not obsess and like overtly work yourself so much. I know for a few of your readings, Scorpio, you kind of used your work as a coping mechanism. And I don't feel like you've gone out of it. Even though I've called you out on it, honey, we're still dealing with it a little bit. <laughs> um, the star card also is, I mean, you look at this card as well. It is the balancing of emotions. So a double whammy, uh, Scorpio, of looking at your emotions. Um, I mean, I feel like it's kind of like, I'm, I've been repeating myself with that obsessive nature, but I feel like it goes a little bit deeper than that. So, but I'm gonna like put an end to that since y'all get the point with that. The clarifier that I have for your world card is the Wheel of Fortune. So it may not feel like Scorpio, things are turning in your favor. It may not feel like um, fortune is on your side, but this is kind of confirming that it's, no, the universe is actually working in your favor right now. Um, you just need to, again, Take away the standards or take away the expectations that you have for how things will be or the speed that you think it will be. The lover's card comes in as a cl being clarified by the hanged man, honey. So <laughs> again, this hanged man follows you from before, really asking for you to be pushing this narrative of changing your perspective. I mean, you have it with the lover's card where it's it could be the representation of a person. I'm not going to go down that road though. Um, I get this more so in a sense of like, Scorpio, you may have had like an idea of how you wanted things to be or like this big plan of like, you wanted to do this and this and this, you want to work this job, you're going to post like, publish this project, um, whatever, right, in this order, right? You want us to be able to be like, you know what, by the end of this year, I want to be able to be completely self-sustaining off of insert X, Y, and Z, or you want your side hustle to fully sustain you and pay your bills, right? I get this sense, I mean, you're still going to accomplish it, right? But you need to have patience in regards to it, but I do get this sense that Scorpio, I feel like it's just not going to be in the way that you think it's going to be. Like, I feel like you're going to reach the success and the financial abundance that you're searching for, but it's not in the way that you think it was going to be. I can't help but feel like you need to shift your perspective um, and how it's going to pan out, right? Instead of like trying to like hyper-focus on getting it done or accomplished in one specific way, be open to other possibilities of, you know, that's probably what it is that you need to release even. It's just like releasing the expectation that your abundance is going to come from one specific type of project or one specific type of action or one specific type of job, okay? <laughs> I really got in the moment where I was like having a conversation with you, honey, right? <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> I'm so silly for your reading. I apologize, Scorpio. Um, let's get into your social situation now, Scorpio. See what's up with that. All right. Some more major arcana, but do you get my point though? We had six major arcana, all major arcana for your career. So heavy shifts in terms of your career, heavy, heavy, heavy. Um, so social situations now. Uh, we have the high priestess coming in here. Something with your intuition. This is a guarded energy. Nine of discs comes in as well. And then the ace of swords. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, Scorpio. I probably, you, there's like a sense of, let me pull some cards on this actually, because this can be in a multitude of ways. Did I show you the cards? I don't think I did, so I'll show them to you in a moment. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. So the High Priestess comes in with being clarified by the Hierophant. 
I love this pairing, honey, because the Hierophant I see is connecting to your higher self. The High Priest is connecting to the spiritual realm, right? You're the spirit guides, the Archangels, all that. So this is perfectly in sync. Like there's something, there's somebody that you have um, a good idea about. There's somebody that you kind of are just like, you're just like, I want to do something with them. I want to, it's almost like you're just like, you're considering, or like, maybe you've been tossing back and forth in your head and being like, eh, can I see myself long-term with this person? When I say long-term, doesn't mean romantic. It could just be like, oh, I could really work with this person. Um, I could really be friends with this person for a long time. I feel like that's where you're at where, with somebody. You're just like, kind of like them. But I feel like this is kind of a new sensation for you where it's like, you don't really know what to make of it, right? And I feel like this is where the what it is, what is it that you need to release comes in again, where it's just like, your intuition and your higher self are telling you where it's just like you like this there's some type of connection that feels pretty pleasant probably but some type of resistance some type of unsureness some type of guarded energy and maybe it's from something from the past that you need to release right the nine of discs gets clarified by the fear of wands so this is somebody that you want to do more than just like have a friendship with not again not romantic but you want to have this connection have more depth now that doesn't not that it doesn't already but you want it to encompass more so it's like you know maybe you want to do this like your work project with them as well scorpio right maybe you've had thoughts of being like oh i kind of want to include them in this right in this journey and then we have the ace of swords being clarified with the ace of wands now if you're not new to my readings at all, you'll know anytime I see double aces coming in, it's, I always will say for my people that are looking for an affirmative yes or going forward with something, aces, double aces is the representation of that. So really with both of these cards, the dynamic of them is just both of them are the representation of go forward with those thoughts and passions that you're feeling inside with this person. It just, I mean, very pleasant social reading in the sense that like you have the sensation of really wanting to like click with someone and work with someone or take it to the next level with someone in some type of way some type of resistance that you or hesitation i guess we won't say uh resistance it's probably like hesitation coming in for you uh scorpio so definitely look at what's going on there in your own mental of what's making you be hesitant towards this because i mean at least from my perspective i see it being very a very beautiful connection um i see it where it's just like you really find this connection pleasant um but there is a sense of being guarded with the high priestess and the higher I mean, both of those parts are very like much so the characters being very enigmatic Enig is that the word enigmatic yeah i don't know how to pronounce it enigmatic i think i'm saying it <laughs> um yeah so We'll just get some final closing thoughts now with tarot scorpio overall your reading was extremely pleasant um definitely sh sh perspective change is necessary for you and i feel like it's going to happen this week and just getting back on track with things but like from a more balanced place from more not obsessive place not a using something as a coping mechanism or a distraction right i feel like you're just going to become a lot more present with your life the more that you releases the stuff that you've been repressing probably so final thoughts seven of cups decisions 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 right decisions in terms of if you let that person in decisions in terms of your career of where where you want to go do you go forward do you continue trying to make those new projects go work out or do you go back to the drawing board do you go back to doing some stuff that you wanted that you did before right um do you you know because <sighs> With the Seven of Cups here, I just get this sense, especially with the dynamic of your other card, Scorpio, I just get this sense of, um, it's not like washing your hands clean of something, but it's just like learning when to call it when it's not working out anymore. Like it's maybe you wanted to really have like push this project off, some type of project off the ground and you just put your all into it. You quit your old job, you, and you just put your all into it. Not to say that you won't be successful at that, um, Scorpio, but let's do a little bit more of a balanced approach to it. Let's not go all in. Let's still dabble in other things, keep our options open, still have this as our main thing, but make the executive decision of being like, okay, like, let's put a pin on this 
but let's, you know, look at other things as well. Chariot card comes with the Ten of Cups. And I feel like once you do this, this is when you go forward into like your cups being filled, right? That complete fulfillment. Um, yeah, I just feel like you kind of need to just take a step back and just be like, okay, what's working? What isn't? What is it that like I need to release or you need to release Scorpio? What is it that you kind of just need to wash your hands clean of and just go back to the drawing board and be like, eh, let's see if we can do this from a different way. Or like, let's continue doing this but let's not put all in, put, go all in quite yet, right? There's no nothing here talking about where you're making a wrong decision, wrong decision, um, Scorpio. I just get this sense of um, just needing to release. Whatever happens when you release that expectation on things, whatever happens that you release, I just feel like it really shifts your perspective on just the whole thing, right? Very interesting, very interesting reading, Scorpio. Um, definitely let me know how this resonates. I really feel like... This is a beautiful reading for Scorpios that are really looking to um, make some edits, I guess, in their life and like their actions that they're doing. So hopefully this reading was of resonance to some of you guys. If it was, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones it did, how they did. And then also be sure to share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my videos. Until next time though, Scorpio, I love you so much and I'll talk to you soon.